Howdy folks, we're back in the studio today for another unboxing video. And uh, if you like what I do on this channel, go ahead and subscribe for me. Uh, this channel is dedicated to musical miscellany, whether that be DIY projects, you know, performances, instrument reviews, you name it. That's what we're about here. But uh, anyway, check this out. I've got this one to unbox today, and you're saying, hmm, that's kind of a big box. Yes, it is. This is a ride symbol from Artist Symbols. So they're a fairly newer company. They've been around a few years, and they make extremely um, inexpensive symbols that are supposed to be very high quality. So I just went on a limb and bought this. So this was not sent to me for free. I bought this, but this is the thing. I got the symbol, the bag, and the symbol stand, and it was $94. That is crazy cheap. So if you're familiar with symbols, um, the crazy thing is this is a B20 bronze symbol. This is not a brass symbol or a B8 bronze symbol. This is an actual B20 bronze. I can't believe they're selling uh, high quality, professional quality symbols essentially for that price. So we're gonna see what this thing is like. If I hate it, you know, I mean, if I would have bought like a B8 Sabian or Zildjian or something, something that's a B8 brass, I would have paid this much money for just the symbol or probably more for just the symbol, let alone this one, I get the stand and the bag, so might as well. So, okay, this is gonna be a little tricky to unbox on camera, but here we go. There we go. So, that must be our symbol stand. I'm gonna set that down. Okay, there she is. So, here is our ride symbol. You can see it, and oh, that's actually, that's actually pretty light for a ride symbol. I'm gonna go ahead and set that down for a second. And here's the bag. Okay, now I'm gonna get these boxes out of the way. So bear with me a second as I get these out of the way. Okay, so first things first, the bag. Here it is. And uh, there's nothing special about this bag. I mean, it's literally, this is probably the simplest symbol bag I've ever seen. Uh, there's no dividers or anything in it. This is, uh, it's just literally a bag. So, um, you know, not the craziest. A lot of them will have dividers and stuff, so you can put multiple symbols in there and the symbols aren't banging against each other. Some will have like a separate pocket for smaller symbols. This one does not. This is literally just a basic symbol bag, but that's fine. It should carry the, the ride symbol fine. So um, again, for the price, I am not going to complain. Next, let's grab the stand here. Let's go ahead and open this. All right. Again, I'm gonna get the box out of the way. There's a whole pile of crap over there. Let me clean that up. All right, let's get this baby open. Okay. So this looks like a fairly no frills symbol stand, nothing too special. It's fairly lightweight, um, but again, that ride did not feel that heavy. Some rides are very, very heavy. Um, so, this is the uh, cam here at the top. Okay, that, you can tell this is a fairly uh, low quality stand because it doesn't have, like I've, I've used, I've felt, you know, higher quality stands and you can really feel all the machining in there and this is very, uh, you know, no frills, we'll just say that much. But you know what, it's gonna hold the symbol. So here's the base, so you can see it's got kind of a, here, let's look at, take a look at these. So again, not the highest quality stuff, fairly, uh, you know, inexpensive style stuff. It does have a, a, a locking ring here where you can adjust the height. But uh, let's go ahead and we'll tighten that up. Again, even the, even the nuts on this feel really chintzy. Like it doesn't feel super strong. Like when you, you take a Gibraltar stand or a DW stand or one of the higher end ones and you twist that down, it feels like really solid and uh, you can tell if that symbol's not going anywhere. These feel really wishy-washy, <laughs> but we'll see here. But it does go together and it does look like it would hold a symbol. So the base does have the double brace. It looks like it's fairly solid. I mean, it's not, super high quality, but it seems like, 
seems like it's a pretty solid stand, quite honestly. Um, and for the price, I mean, you know, if you buy these separately, I think this stand is like 35 and that bag is like 15. Um, and for both of those prices, like $35 for a symbol stand, I mean, the inexpensive, you know, uh, of any of the name brands, the most inexpensive stand they sell is usually $50, $55. So, um, you know, you get what you pay for, but it does actually look like pretty good quality. Now let's get to the symbol here. So again, this is a B20 bronze symbol according to their website. This is the Preface series. And as been mentioned in several of my previous videos, I am not a percussionist. I am absolutely 100% not a percussionist. Um, I know I've had several percussion reviews now. I did that snare drum kit that's right over here behind me. I did a couple of cajones. Um, I did, uh, what, a, a djembe. People keep sending me percussion instruments and I'm not sure why, but this one I bought. Um, but that said, the lathing is very circular. Let me see if I can get this in close so you can see it. I'm gonna try not to blast it out with the light there. There you go. The lathing is like very circular. It's definitely machine lathe, machine hammered. Um, but it does actually, I mean, when I just look at it from here, it looks like a fairly decent quality symbol. It's fairly thin for a ride symbol. It's pretty light, fairly thin. We see the artist logo there and the preface logo up there at the top. It says ride 20 inches or 51 centimeter if this is uh, being viewed somewhere outside the States. Um, bell is pretty big. Let's get it on the stand and see what this thing sounds like. I'm anxious to see what this thing sounds like. Okay, so here we go, folks. I've got her on the stand. So I'm using the stand and the symbol that came together. Um, again, when I put this symbol on, and even though, as I mentioned, it's not a super heavy ride, when you start to get on there and you start to adjust the tilter and stuff, you can feel that that quality is, is not the greatest, but you know what? It is holding it and it is sturdy. So it does the job. Um, this is one of the, the drumsticks that came with the snare drum pack back here. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it. Now, unfortunately, again, remember, I'm not a percussionist, guys, and remember, and I don't have anything, I don't have any other symbols here to compare it to, so it's just kinda gonna be, you know, random, uh, you know, sounds, but let's see what it sounds like. So it's got a nice decay, a really nice long ring. It's a little bit, it's got a little bit of that kind of cheap cymbal sound. I don't know how else to describe it. But it's not bad. I mean, it's really not bad. Let's, uh, let me scoot back just a little. So not bad. Nice bright bell. Good wash here in the ride. When you get out towards the edge, you get that kind of big swell. And then of course, if you crash it, actually does a pretty nice crash. So certainly worth the money. I mean, you know, for what this thing costs, if you buy the symbol by itself, I want to say it's like $45, not expensive at all. Um, I've got a brush here. Let's try it with a brush just because I'm not sure how, you know, it's so loud with the, the camera. It might kind of blow it out. So let me try um, using a brush here, see if we can get maybe something that's a little more camera friendly. Actually, it sounds pretty darn good with the brush. Um, I mean, honestly, guys, for the price, I am I am impressed. One thing I should mention is I'm sitting here and the way the light's hitting it, I can see just as I look around the symbol, there are kind of scratches and scrapes. There are a few of them. It's not terrible. Uh, I probably couldn't even get them to show up on the uh, camera if I wanted to, but like right here, there's a scrape, a scratch here, there's a paint mark here. So they probably test them you know, with the, they probably have somebody hit them and make sure they sound okay before they send them out because it's definitely got some some wear on it. Um, because this was not flagged as a demo model or anything. But that said, it's going to work perfect for me. Now, guys, you can probably see where I'm going here. If you're a subscriber, you remember 
Uh, earlier this summer, I built one of those mine old DIY cajon kits. And then recently I did a, um, I added a base pedal to it. I did a DIY hack to add a base pedal to it. And then what was it just last week? I think I unboxed this and did a review of this East Rock snare drum. So we've got a bass with the cajon, we've got a snare, and now I've got a ride cymbal. So there's going to be a cajon cocktail kit in the future. You can, you can just bet on that. So keep your eyes open. That one should be coming. But honestly, overall, um, artist symbols, what they've done here, giving you a $45 symbol made of B20 bronze that sounds pretty darn good. Um, you know, a 25 or 35, whatever this was, uh, $35 stand and a $15 bag. I mean, you can't beat that guys. That's like, <laughs> I, I literally went out to pawn shops and looked, I couldn't find used symbols. And, and stands for that price. I mean. Okay, so here it is, the Artist Preface Series 20 inch ride cymbal. Again, a very affordable cymbal and uh, seems to be a lack of reviews of it. So maybe I've got the first one. I don't know, I'm sure not the first one, but it's the first one I could find. Anyway, here's the bag and let's uh, see how it fits. So if I slide that in there, voila, very simple. So guys, remember I said there might be a cocktail kit coming, and if, if you remember, I got the bag for the snare over here. It, it, you know, it's got the bag for all of that. I've got that bag for the cajon and a bag for the bass pedal, which I showed you guys in a previous video. And now a bag for the cymbal. It's all portable. It's not just the cocktail kit, it's portable. It's kind of fun. So anyway, uh, watch for that. But today, this has been the unboxing and initial thoughts on the Artist Preface Series Ride Cymbal.